Guys, we are here with Grind Hard Plumbing. They were out here racing with us in the Freedom 500, which was awesome. That was a um, really good time. Yeah, you guys, like you said, this is your first time out here in Florida? Yeah, first time to Florida. How are you liking it so far? The weather is very nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome out here. There's but... not any mountains, though. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, not as many <laughs> rocky jumps and stuff for you guys. Yeah, Definitely yeah. no snow. <laughs> no. It also seems like you could drive faster on the street and get in a lot less trouble, is my impression. Is that just from YouTube videos, or is that it's, real? It's kind of real. People, <laughs> people in Florida drive really fast, and they get a little reckless out there I on the I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is Ethan and Edwin from Guide Hard Plumbing. If you guys watch their channel, you know they make all kinds of cool little go-karts. I mean, the Barbie Jeep and the Monster Chopper you're working on right now. And they also have a shopping go-kart. So obviously, we had to pull the shopping go-kart out and let these guys come check it out. And you guys said that this was actually like... An inspiration for you guys yeah fun fact this uh this happened before our channel even existed and it was a big part of the inspiration for the barbie mustang that was our first project so that's really cool we to wanted hear, to honestly. build stuff and make fast we stuff actually on youtube and we were just looking for projects that were kind of getting exponentially more views than other views on people's channels you know and it was like wow this shopping cart like you're building really cool cars but more people care about the shopping yeah. cart. Like there's something there. You guys always loving this freaking little shopping go-kart. <laughs> also some uh, some never to be seen footage. We, uh, after our first couple of videos went out and we had like, I don't know, 5,000 subscribers or something. We filmed, we filmed a little challenge. We were gonna challenge you to a race between this oh, and our really? Barbie Mustang. We never, it was terrible. It was like really horrible footage. It, it was, was awkward as hell, but, <laughs> but we, we filmed it. And we were Those gonna like, days of YouTube, man. yeah, we were gonna put out this little like challenge video of like, we challenge Boosted Boys to a race, shopping cart versus Barbie car. Let's go. And we're going to like drive to Florida and race you. That was the, that was, but it never, we that would have been so fun though. But yeah, <laughs> I well, we should have done it honestly. But yeah. yeah we we, hey, well, we can always run it back. Yeah. Yeah. We exactly. got to fix up our Mustang. Just get it going again. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you guys bring your shopping go kart out, I got some work to do because they put a CBR 900 engine in there, which is <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. So, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I might have to build a shopping cart V2. I said I've been wanting to do it, so these guys just might give us a reason to do so, mm -hmm. which would be hey, sick. We could have works. a little shopping cart go kart off. <laughs> if there's something hey, you know, for the world. You know, there's the, the Freedom 500. We could do like a shopping cart version of that. Yeah, the grocery getter 5,000. Yeah. <laughs> 5,000? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, the death wish version. <laughs> yeah. Grocery getter. Yeah, that, I like it. Yeah. Something like that. The grocery getter 5. Yeah. That'd be cool. But it's awesome to hear that they actually, you know, knew the shopping go-kart beforehand because i saw them build theirs and i'm like i hope these guys know who was the first to build a shopping <laughs> oh, go-kart we <laughs> but no that's awesome to hear yeah. these guys are super cool and figured we'd let them tinker around with this thing it has been sitting for a few months now when 1320 video came by to do our garage tour i did fire it up briefly but it still wasn't running the greatest i need to put a new turbo on it because i you know been two-stepping this one and has a little bit of shaft play but <laughs> <laughs> we got it fired up i think the injector's a little gummy you know, she has her issues. She's been sitting for years, but I did fire it up a little bit ago. She fired right up, obviously, on that fuel tech. And uh, yeah, I guess let's try driving around a little bit. We don't got too much room back here, but it's a tiny vehicle. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. This is more pavement than there is within miles of my house. So. I did warn them that it doesn't steer the best. She never has, probably never will. <laughs> well, now we know. <laughs> we accidentally started with a children's racing go kart. Oh, really? So the seat is actually really hard to sit in. So it's this is a lot more comfortable driving experience than ours. It's a lot comfier seat-wise, but you have the extension on the front of yours, so I don't have nearly as much leg room. <laughs> Pretty well, jumbled up in this thing. Will built ours, so like I, Edwin doesn't even fit in it. I can kind of fit in it, but like it's really scary because you you have to like thread your legs through and everything. So if you had to get out of it in a hurry, like in a, an emergency, it would not be good. It would okay. not be good. <laughs> Well, it sounds like yours is just as sketchy as mine. Oh, yeah, at least. <laughs> Actually, theirs is 10 times sketchier because that's 10 times the horsepower. <laughs> you know how much power you're making? Um, we did actually dyno it once before we had the turbo on it, and I think it made 15 horsepower. So with the turbo, maybe 20? Yeah, it, with the turbo working efficiently, I'm hoping it's like 
my goal is to double the horsepower. Yeah. I wanted to redyno it and hopefully make like close to 30. Yeah. But I never dynoed it after. It's it definitely 13 pounds of boost, right? Yeah, with the fresh turbo on there, it was making 13. And it yeah, so probably close to double. I mean, at least 25 horse. I think so. It was before like it would it would pop a good little wheelie in the lower gears but with the turbo every gear shift is just just yanking the front end off the ground nice it was making some power let's see it on the road with just all the cars and this like nice street with the trees and everything yeah. all these nice houses yeah. just causing hell standard florida man huh it's exactly awesome. i like it It's like a little booster go. seat. This wouldn't be us. It's a booster it. seat with two meanings of the word booster in this case. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be it. It's so reassuring for us to see other people doing things like this, but the similar jank <laughs> way that we would do it. No one sees the behind the scenes of most automotive YouTubers. We just don't care, so we show it. But so, yeah, yeah, we do the same. They all deal with. Issues. <laughs> yep. Maybe us a little more than others, but nonetheless. Oh yeah, it's actually way easier to drive like this. Oh nice, yeah. A little yeah. extra legroom. Nice. <laughs> you look right at home in that thing. Oh yeah, very much so. I mean, it's much like all the weird little things I build. Is it better or worse than you expected it to be? Oh, it's pretty much exactly what I expected, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it feels just like the original Barbie car we built, except engines in the back. <laughs> yeah, definitely makes steering tough with all that weight on yeah, the solid rear axle. It does. I mean, in the grass, it's fun. It drifts yeah. great, but yeah. It's such a surreal experience just like being here and seeing this. When I get home, I'm going to send you my idea booklet from like every idea that I've ever had. And there is like handwritten pictures of the Barbie car and what I want it to look like and like descriptions of, all right, Kyle's shopping cart is like this. And I think it is really cool for this reason. And maybe we could replicate that in some kind of a way. Like I'll send you whatever I can find. But Dude, that's awesome. It's full circle for me. Yeah, that's I'm really cool really that happy. you guys <laughs> kind of saw me that way. That's yeah, that's, that's, super cool. that's cool. Yeah. Crap, now I'm gonna be looking at you guys. Man, why? I think it's because I don't have a Jixxer 1000 in mind. I think that's the problem. <laughs> it yeah. is, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that would I mean, definitely beat the crap out of ours if you put a Jixxer 1000 in one. Yeah. yeah. We've got a CBR 900, which makes barely over half of what a Jixxer 1000 makes. So How fast have you guys taken that thing? Like, 
we didn't clock it, but probably like 65, 70. Yeah. And our clutch was too tight. So it was yeah, Will, the entire Will didn't oh, like really? check the tension. It was just the clutch was just like smoking slipped. her. Yeah, yeah. So at least it wasn't pushing a lot of weight. Yeah. Theoretically, it could go really, really fast. Oh, theoretically, if yeah. If you know anyone around here who would let us go really, really fast I on mean, a drag strip. Or Cletus, I'm sure, would let us go around his circle track. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> It'd be crazy to do. Who knows what the future holds, boys, but I feel like we have some shopping to do. <laughs> All right. Well, we already have the shopping carts. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till we get to this other road before I get on. Well, what'd you guys think? That was awesome. Yeah, I'd like to see it, how it performs when it's you know got a fresh turbo and fresh injector or whatever. Uh, yeah, but she's I see the, definitely down on boost. I see today. the potential, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, 13 pounds on this thing would hit really nicely. I mean, I'm gonna be here tomorrow, so maybe we can fiddle with it. At the time of filming this now, I gotta take Matt and Heather to the airport because unfortunately they are leaving back to the UK. But luckily we were able to squeeze in a quick session with Ethan and Edwin here. You're going to be here for a little bit longer. So yeah. we actually might link back up afterwards. Yeah, uh, but we filmed a nice little <laughs> quick podcast while they were here as well. Yeah. Just some questions back and forth. It was awesome meeting you guys. And yeah, it was great. It was awesome yeah, time. Hope you guys can make it back out and definitely, we'll definitely plan it out a little better. Oh, Give yeah. you guys some ride alongs. I'll get this thing tuned up and you might just make me build a second version to compete yeah. with your... CBR yeah, and if you're ever in, uh, ever in the Northwest, you'll have to stop by and try out some of our toys. Yeah, for sure. Plus, they got, dude, you guys just have so many cool toys, so we could definitely... <laughs> yeah, I was no, about but, to just... But like this, most of them are always a little bit broken or but a lot you, broken. If you give us a couple weeks notice, exactly. we can get things going. And yeah, see, really I had should have everything 20 minutes today. tops after I got back today, Yeah, and she still did a wheelie and performed for you guys. Yeah. Can't complain about that. So even yeah. though it's like a 10-year-old build, it still... Yep, works when it needs to. Kicking. Not a lot of builds can say that. <laughs> yeah, that's still the same engine from when that's I first impressive. built it. Like I haven't tore it apart. It hasn't blown up somehow. That's wow. the that's the OG unopened eBay engine with probably the old two gold. oil <laughs> with probably two oil changes in its entire lifetime. And so that's it's only had more because turbos than oil changes. It, it really has. <laughs> and that's only, a good stack. And the only reason it's had oil changes is because I had to drain the oil to put a return in it. To add a turbo or else i would have never given it an oil change <laughs> as it awesome. should be well cool guys yeah have a safe trip back and we'll definitely yeah make awesome. it happen again yeah. soon see you next time fun. Great yep. to meet you. yep good racing with you guys this weekend <laughs> yeah that was also really fun we'll have to do that again yeah for sure rematch well it's time for matt to go back to the uk it sure is it's been awesome having you down Right, dude. I haven't seen you in freaking four years. That's it. We're going to make it. We'll so, it yeah, hopefully we don't wait another four years until you guys come back. Sounds like we might take a trick out to the UK, but they're whistling at us. Oh, God. So we got to get going. But, Please, dude, really appreciate it. Yep, see you Thanks, later, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You guys get back safe. And we might just make a trip out to the UK. Oh, we will. That'd be pretty cool. Next year. Yep. Yeah. See you, mate. See you, mate.